Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm all about trend makeup. No, I'm kidding. I maybe I look funny, but this month I'm going to wear all metallic lipsticks because I'm so into metallic, shimmer, glittery, sparkles. I love December. That's my favorite month. And today we are going to do update with my project pan with you. So I have almost a to finish some of the products or to hit a pan in some of them. And if you're wondering what I have on my lips, I have a combination of this Amore Matte Metallic Lip Cream from Milani, and this is shade two, matte realistic. And then on top of it, because I filmed already this makeup look and I tried the modern, no, 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 I didn't try. I tried uh, this palette, Subculture, and that's what I have on my eyes. And I did have this lipstick on in that video, but I found this one in my drawer and I have this over it. This is more model, model zone, uh, hologram lip gloss in moonlight. Can't see without my glasses, but I think it's what it's called. And I have that over and I really like how it looks. Really, really like how it looks. So guys, do you want to see my update and how much I've used of these products, then please keep on watching. So let's start with the first part, product and we are going to start with this palette, Soft Glam. And I've used it, I won't say every day because then I will lie. I did use a couple of other products, a couple of other palettes that I reviewed on my channel. I really played with them like the Sultry palette from Anastasia and also the Huda Beauty palette and also another palette and another palette. So, but I did use this boy a lot and I did um, dive deep in some of the shades, but I didn't hit pan in any of them. This shade is my favorite and I got so many compliments when I'm using these shades. So I think I'm going to hit pan in this shade yeah, soon and in this shade. But I did use a lot of these three, four, five shades, a lot, and these two. So I hope to hit the pan in at least one of them this month, December. I really enjoy this palette, though I do like the, the gold shades more than this coppery rose pink shade or sultry, but I, wait, wait. Sultry. Wait. Where is that palette? I'm sorry guys, I just found out something. When I bought this and received it, I loved the packaging and I said that I would like if there is a shade like this, the same shade, the same, same color as the packaging, because I love the packaging and it wasn't in that palette. but. Me right now in this video when I talked about this shade, I realized that this one is called sultry, salt, sultry, and it's very similar to the packaging. So I'm going to swatch it and see if it's the same shade. Uh, I have foundation on. It is the same, uh, very similar. So if you want this shade, get this palette. <laughs> this is cool. Oh my God, this is so cool. And I did like this shade, uh, not as much as I like the other shades, but it's not as shimmery as I would like it to, but guys, it is, it is sultry. It is. I just found out that. That's that's cool. That's cool. Okay, let's keep on going. I don't know if this was meant to be, but uh, I like this palette and I'm going to use it a lot. So let's go to the next product. Then, then I have this Buxom lip gloss in shade Celeste that I've used almost every day. Now guys, I don't know where I was because the mark kind of disappeared. 
And I think I was here, down, and now I'm done here. I'm not really sure, but this is how far I've used. And I used it a lot. Not every day, though, because I cross, I tried other products. And my lips was so dry, and my lips was so bad, so that I didn't use any lipstick for a couple of, at least two weeks. But I did use this a lot. When I used something, I love this. And everybody that saw me that worked with this lip gloss, they said that this was amazing. So I li do like this one. And I don't think I'm going to empty it, though I do hope, and also not. Then we have the Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer that I really, 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 really like. And I'm here, I was up here, and then I'm here, and I'm using it every day, sometimes twice a day when I'm creating a makeup look, filming. But I like this, like, like, like this primer. It's the best. Not the best. Watch my video. I'll put link down below or card up here. I don't know. But I did review a lot of eyeshadow primers and this was one of the favorite, favorites. Then we have this Emma Pure Dual Multiplex Moisturizer that I've been using every morning and I do like this. I couldn't mark where I was, but I do not have a lot of it left. I'm down there. I really like this moisturizer. I think they just came out with a new one that I am kind of curious to try. But I kind of like this and definitely going to empty it and finish this packaging. It's stunning. So let's go to uh, three products that I really liked. But right now I'm mad at them because the packaging sucks. I'm sorry to say that in this that word in my video. But I hate the packaging. Of these products. The first one, I like three of the pet products. The first one is P Pixie by Petra. This is Brow Tamer. I think I kind of used just a little bit of it. I don't know if you can see. I hate the packaging. I hate it a lot because I can't, this brush doesn't go down the all, all the way and it doesn't want to pick up the product correctly and I I can't it's not really liquidy so it doesn't want to go down when I put it upside down and I just get a lot of the product on the tip and it's, it's harder to put it all over the eyebrow so I hate the packaging I like the product hate the packaging I'm going to start continue using using it but would I buy it again? No, I would not because of the brush is too short. And I didn't have this that problem problem because I had the product more because I had more of the product in the packaging. But when there is not a lot of product left, I see the problem and I'm hating the packaging. I have so much makeup on my hands. Okay, then the other packaging that I'm hating is And you're wondering why? Because if you watch any of my videos, you know how much I love this make Prep and Prime Pix Plus, especially the matte version. But I'm hating the matte version right now because of this. I was here and I'm down here and I can't use it anymore. And the reason, if you see I'm getting mad and frustrated, and the reason why I can't use this product anymore because it doesn't want to come out. This is how you close the packaging and you can't press it. That's perfect when you travel and then you open it. And no product wants to come out. <laughs> and I think it's because uh, down here there is a powder. You have to shake it to mix the product. So you can get some powder out. And I think the powder dried in the packaging. I don't know how you call it. You can call this spritzer or call this English word. And I think the powder stuck, dried in the packaging, so it doesn't want to come out. And I can't use it. And I try to open it. And I don't know how I should use it like this. And I try to wash it and it just doesn't want to work. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to throw it away because I like the pack product, but I can't use it anymore. So I'm going to take it out from my project pen because I can't use it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, when I finish, finish the regular Max Fix Plus because I like this product and I this is my third or fourth pack bottle, I'm going to switch but I'm not going to do that now because I don't want to destroy this E2. So when I finish, finish this one, I'm going to switch it and try that way. But I'm sad that I can't use it anymore. Okay, then the other packaging that I do not like is from this one. I love this product. This is a primer, pore primer. And I was here. I'm gonna start my project pen and I'm down here and I'm definitely maybe more down and I definitely am going to finish this. But the problem is this, this. Let me show you, I'm going to zoom in to show you. My hands are clean, look at this now. This is coming off. So every time I use this product, I get this on my hands and I first, when it started happening, I didn't really realize that this, it was this uh, packaging. So every time I went in with the primer, I, I thought, what, why are my hands black? And it was disgusting and I was getting it all over my face every morning and I was frustrating. I didn't know what it was. And then I figured out it was this, this product. So what I'm doing right now is that I take a tissue and then I open it. Can you see? Can you see? And I try to wipe off a lot as much as possible, but it's not happening. So I open it like this, close it like this, and I don't think I should do it like that. I don't think, why? Why can't you change this packaging? Because this product is good, but I'm not going to buy it because of the packaging. Make a revolution. This is making me mad. I think I've talked about this product problem before. It's this, the ordinary, this is the caffeine solution that I'm using on the, uh, on the eyes. Uh, I don't know if you can see. I was up here, I'm down here. So I don't think I'm going to use the whole product at the end of this month, but look how disgusting this is. It's gathering around the opening and I do not like that. And when I empty this, I'm not going to buy it because of that. I think it's disgusting. The product is good. I don't like the packaging. We have to move on because I'm talking a lot. Then also I am using this palette and I want to hit pan in this shade or this shade. Though I've been using the blush a lot because I do like it. It's what I have on my... But I'm not going to hit pan in this because this is pigmented. I think I'm going to hit the pan in the bronzer because I did use a lot of it. I love this pal palette and I'm using it every day, but I'm not really sure I'm going to hit the pan in but I'm going to continue using it. Then I have this eye makeup remover. I was here, I'm down here. I didn't use it every day because I hate it. I know I should, but I just don't reach for it. But I am going to do this to the end of this month because I want to finish this boy up. Then we have the Hourglass Primer. I was up there, I'm down here now. I don't know if you can see it. I know I'm not going to hit the pan in this, but I just want to see how much I use every month. And I do like this, definitely going to continue. The product I'm almost finished is, uh, I'm sorry guys, I just had to change my battery again for the third time. I don't know what's wrong with my camera, but I'm back. Okay, where were we? Uh, I think I showed you this one that I'm going to finish soon. Then I have this product. This is the Eye and Lip Contour from um, this brand I can't pronounce. And I've used a, a little bit of it. I do have a little bit left. I'm not really sure if I'm going to finish it this month, but I'm definitely going to finish it uh, soon, a month or two but I do like this product. I also have a little bit left of this, my favorite Fix It and Forget It setting spray. This is from Lancome and I think it's their newest setting spray. I was up here, I'm down here. I love the mist. I love this spray. It's 
it's just the best. You can't go wrong with this spray. I'm definitely going to finish it. And I want to... I want to buy a new one, but I do have a couple of other setting sprays that I need to finish before. But I just love this baby. I love it so much. I think we are at our last product. And the last product I have is a clarifying toner. I was down here. I'm down here. I do have a little bit left. Definitely going to use it up. I love this toner and I can see myself repurchasing this one though I want right now because I do have another one that I want to try out but I do like this product definitely like this product so guys I think that was everything I think if I forgot something please let me know down, let me know down below because my makeup space looks like a disaster right now makeup everywhere products lying here everywhere and I'm too lazy to clean right now so maybe I forgot something oh yes I did yes I did wait I just remembered where is it I, I remember that I dropped something at the floor the eyebrow pencil from elf the brow pencil from elf that I got from my beautiful friend Valerie I did mark it up here and down here. I'm almost done. I do not have a le le lot left of this product. I use it every day and I do like this product. So I'm definitely going to finish up this boy. But everything else works so far. And guys, I hope you like this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be a part of the Didi family. And guys, I do re read your comments. Sometimes I'm bad at answering them. But thank you so much for all the tips and tricks and your opinions and for being nice to each other in, in the comments down below. Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget, you're perfect as you are. I love you and see you in my next video. Bye.